Hi friends, welcome back to Scrapping It Up. This is uh, part three of the video. And uh, this is a little album that we are reconstructing. Um, I had several requests to do a tutorial for this. So uh, we constructed our cover and we put the flaps on this album. So now we are going to work on getting our flaps on here. So let's get started doing that. So um, you'll need to grab your pieces that we had cut. And you want to grab your uh, your four pieces that are, just a second, let me grab my measurements here. Um, let's see, we had, we had you mark the two that has a flap. So we'll do those first, get those out of the way. So we're gonna, um, you on this here, you have an indented side. I don't know if you can see that. And then we have a bumpy side. Okay, um, you always wanna try and fold towards the bumpy side if you can. I know there's a few times that you can, but it, it just more better if you can fold towards your bumpy side. And burnish that and what we're doing is we're putting these in here like this and I'll show you what it will look like looks like this okay did I put those yep, clear to the edges all right so this and when you put these in in here, you want to remember you're going to be folding that down. So you don't want up against this right here, the fold line of this flap. And you want to stay eighth of an inch away from your score line over here. So about an eighth of an inch. And when you got it, just hold it there. And oh, we don't even have score pile tape down. <laughs> Silly me. So grab your score pile tape and put score pile tape on this. And uh, you guys can find uh, Scrapping It Up on, we're on Facebook and we are on Pinterest and of course here on YouTube. So look us up. I try and do different things on different channels. But my mainstay is uh, YouTube because I would I like doing videos for you guys to show you how to do things and make pretty things. And when you get it to where you want it, again, take off your score pile tape. Sometimes <laughs> doesn't want to come off for you. Burnish that down. Make sure you get good stick. Okay, then this one. Is you want to stay uh, let's see okay so like that you want to leave your tab here so when you just we'll put it up just a little bit to kind of match the other one when you got it where you want it take off your score bow tape there we go there's those two flaps now on this side, we gotta form our pockets. So what we're gonna do is stick our score pile tape all the way around. And you don't have to worry about getting in these corners. I don't know if you can see that. But this is we're gonna cut away this corner. We're gonna miter. So I just stick my score pile tape like that. So I'm not wasting a lot of tape but I'll tell you what the score pile tape can it adds up after a while and when you make as many albums as I do okay and do both pieces please and if you have any questions you know about this tutorial please put them in the comments and I will get back with you on it 
you know, I might be forgetting to tell you something or you wonder if you could do something, just put it in the comments. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to minor these corners. So what I do is I cut at a di diagonal. Do not cut through your score lines. See that? What we're doing is uh, trying to create less bulk in our albums. So we're going to burnish. Do the same with this one. I always flip it over on the back side because you can see it so much easier than the front side. And fold. And you want your tape to be on the back side because we're going to be sticking this pocket down. And we want to make sure that our corners do not overlap. And this one overlaps just a little bit. So I'm just going to cut just a little bit of that corner away. And that, yep, it doesn't overlap. How about this one? No overlap on that one. Okay, we're good. Get all my scraps. And while we got a score pile tape out right here, we're going to attach the score pile tape to the dent. Or, to the dented side. Okay. And then score it. So now what we're going to do, these pockets are going to go like this. So we want these to attach like that. So what I do, I just lay it here. And I just match it up. And it's a little bit off, but I'm just going to center it to where it looks okay. There's our pocket. Same way with this one. Fold it where, kind of just line it up. And if it's a, you know, a little bit wider, just kind of, you know, the same amount on each side. And you want it flush. And just take your score pal tape off. And just fold it back and take it off this side. There we go. And burnish. And that assures, you know, you get a good stick on your score pile tape. So now you have your score pile here. What we're going to do, we're going to center these. And again, you do not want to go past your score line. You want an eighth of an inch away from your score line. I'm just going to kind of line these up to where I've got about the same amount here. And like I said, eighth of an inch away. And where you think you've got it, take your score pile tape off. Just like that. And then I just kind of hold that one down and try and get the same amount from here to here. And when you think you got it, then you just take your ah, buttercup. Get off here. You know you're not supposed to be up here. Get off. Thought I had the door shut. I guess she opened it. Okay. I guess she just wanted to say hi to you guys. <laughs> uh, and there we go. There's your pockets. Now, that one piece that we cut 
that uh, you put on after you put your design paper on goes on your very front. And what um, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and round my corners. She opened the door so now you can hear my TV. <laughs> and we're going to get our scoreboard out. And we are going to score this at... Score on the 5 inch... Score at five. I ain't right because we want because we want it at a different. Let's see what this one is here. Okay, we got four and a half, so we're going to score at four and a half. Alrighty, I'll have to change that. So score at four and a half. And again, you're going to fold towards the bubble side, okay? So, burnish that. And so then you would put your paper on here. And when you put your paper on here too, I just go like that. Because I, I like to leave the tab so I could put sayings on there so that's what so you could attach put your paper on here and we'll just pretend this black paper is our paper that we're going to put on here and then this you just put just like this now what you can do with this is put your score pile tape here here and here, well, I guess you wouldn't use your score pile tape. You would use your uh, tacky glue because if you use score pile tape, and um, what I'm trying to do is like this, and then that way, you can leave that open, and you can stick tags back behind that. But if you use score pile tape, they may get stuck in there. So you'll, you'll want to use your glue for that. But that is an idea. You can do that too. Um, you can add a tab to this if you wanted to. I mean, th there's just endless possibilities of what you can do with this. But put your paper down first before you attach this. Now you could do the same thing on the back side. You could put one of these you might want to make, yeah, just like that. And then you could leave that open to put tags underneath there if you wanted to. So you could do that. Or, you know, you could put it in, I don't know if I put it in there, but I mean, you can, you can do anything pretty much that you want to do. So that, and then uh, just make your, uh, like that, to slide in. You know, you'd want them cut a little bit shorter, but make your uh, tags to go inside your pockets. And when you mat your pockets, you want to make sure your, your matting paper at least goes at least um, half an inch. So that way, when you put your paper on, you are covering this here and your tags will slide in. They won't get caught on this right here. So make sure at least, you know, three quarters of an inch in there. So that's a little tip for you guys. Okay, that is our file folder. That's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you uh, make some of these uh, file folders. And like I said, if you have any comments, uh, please put them in the comments below. I'm going to be glad to get back with you on it. So I hope uh, you guys make some of these. So talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.